the largest American flag here in Colorado. We are. Great. Are you both attending? Yes. yes. Perfect. So just go up and park past this water tower on the right in this parking and then walk right in. It's the center of the whole complex, the entrance. Perfect. Perfect. Thank That's you. Perfect. All right. Okay. I'm really excited. <sighs> Brandon, are you excited? Yay. <laughs> Super excited. He was a trooper. I begged him to go with me this morning because it's so far away and he was like, okay. So Brandon gets major kudos today. He really didn't want to come. And a good dinner tonight. He is going to get a good dinner tonight. I owe him big time. Big time. Oh my goodness. We park. We're here. <laughs> it's so exciting. Look at how cute some of these quilts are, you guys. Beautiful quilts. My goodness, look at those dinosaurs. And the puppy dogs. Wow. Some bonnet suits. Honor Creations quilting. Look at that. Beautiful. And welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author. Welcome to my quilting room and also Sewing Talk Tuesday. I hope everyone is having a fabulous week. Um, I was able to make my way to the quilt festival um, last Friday. And so today I'm going to share with you some of the things that I picked up from there. Also, I have a little bit of footage on my way down there because I wanted to show you how far out this truly was. And not only that, but traffic was absolutely horrible. So I didn't take video of us going down um, I-25 <laughs> where it was backed up on our side, but you can see it from the other side. It was insane. So anyway, we're going to just hop right on here and I'm going to just start showing you what I, what I got there. So I just tore the bag. Go figure, right? Um, so I was lucky enough, my local quilt, there, two of my local quilt stores were actually there. I was super excited. So I got to see all my friends from there. So hi everyone, if you're watching. Um, so I did go there and one of my local stores had where if you bought three, um, um, sorry, buy two, get one free on stabilizer. So I picked up some stabilizer for the embroidery machine because Lord knows I go through this stuff very quickly. So I got myself some Kimberbell Heavy Tearaway Stabilizer. So there's that one. I haven't used the Heavy Tearaway. So that'll be new for me. So I figured, well, if it was buy two, get one free, why not? The next one that I got is the wash away stabilizer and I swear by wash away stabilizer. It makes your life so much easier um, when you are doing something. Actually, I really preferred this when I was making the memory pillows um, just because those um, the design was so intricate, it was hard to pick out the tear away. So just FYI. And this is the medium tearaway. And this is normally what I use. So there's that. I still need to put all this away. I kept it in the bag so that I could just show it to everybody. The next thing that we have. Okay. So I need to give you a little 
backstory about this one. I absolutely fell in love with these when I saw them. And um, I will be doing a tutorial a little bit further down the road on this. Um, and I spoke with the owner and I have her card in here somewhere because I threw everything everywhere in this bag. And um, doggone it, I don't know where it is. I will find it and I will link to it, but I will link to it when we start working on this. But she makes these really, really, her name is Barbara Crawford. I found her card. Um, she does the felting for you. So I bought this as a kit and they come with the pattern and they are stockings. Isn't that cute? And it comes with the whole pattern and everything that you need to make it. So that's one of them. And then the next one that I picked up is this one. So cute. They're so cute. So I figured I would make these for my grandsons for Christmas just to see how easy they are or how hard they are. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Um, but you know what? I don't know. They may go to somebody else. I have no idea. But I did get those. And um, she has a sale on her website. Actually, I will link down to her website here so that you guys can can go check her out because she has got some really cute patterns for stockings. And since it's July already, because I just thought of this, um, now is about the time that we need to start working on those Christmas gifts, you know? So check the links below. Also, I got some patterns here. So these are so cute. I love the little sugar skulls. These are applique and um, oh, they're so cute. These de designs are by Connie Spurlock and Terry Chandler. And so you just trace them out and cut them out and then you would applique them onto your fabric square. So I'm really looking forward to making some of these. Super cute. She had some really cute designs too. Like this little ghost one for Halloween. I'm thinking that we might make this one. And um, I can't give you the pattern um, or the measurements or anything like that, but I can certainly link to it and uh, you can grab it for yourself. Look at how cute. This. I'm really excited about because this is a wine bag. Aren't those cute? They had so much cute stuff there. I'm, I've got to tell you. Um, just postcards and stuff that I picked up. <laughs> when you walk in the front door, <laughs> you know. So, i got these cool patterns. Um, I looked at a sewing machine cabinet. Um, my husband wanted to get me one and we were ready to jump on it and get one for the dream machine just so it has its own surface and that it could go flat down um, while I'm sewing and quilting because right now it just sits on top of a table and it's very very hard to quilt on top of a table as you know especially with your hands clear up here it's better to have them down so we are looking at getting a cabinet for that unfortunately the cabinet that we were looking at is way too small for that machine. That machine needs an extremely large sewing cabinet. And unfortunately, once you start going up to a larger cabinet, you go up in price as well. So, <laughs> so we are working on that, or should I say I'm still working on that, trying to figure out um, how to make that work. I have my eyes set on one, but I'm not sure. It's, it's, um, it's a lot of money and I don't know. I have to be able to justify that. Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> I just have to...
figure out a way. All right, so this one I'm pretty excited about. I, I don't know. I think you guys are gonna be excited about this one too. This is probably one of my most favorite things that I picked up there. And you know how much I love this person. So I'm just gonna show you. That's my receipt. <laughs> Um, I spent way too much money, of course, you know, but it was worth it. All right. So, I picked up some glide thread. Isn't that, it's a big, big thread, um, a thread cone. Sorry, can't speak today. 5,000 meters, 5,500 yards of this beautiful golden yellow thread. Excited to use this. And when I show you what we'll be using it on, you'll be excited too. So I was able to pick up the new Tula Pink um, fabric. This is called Daydream Tea Time. And this is from her Couriuser and Couriuser, Couriuser. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It is so cute. I had to have it in this color. So I got a yard of each, just so you know, one yard of each. And this one, and this one looks like the, uh, this one is so cool. It's got like Alice, the Mad Hatter, the watch, um, sorry, the trees. I'm trying to look at it while I'm telling you what's on it. It is so stinking cute, so cute. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on this. I haven't been able to actually look at it and um, with my own eyes and touch and feel the fabric. I have to be able to do that. I just, I love to, to touch fabric. Here's the Alice in Wonderland. It's really cute. It's so stinking cute. But wait, there's more. <laughs> You didn't think I would just stop at three, did you? No, not me. And then this beautiful pink flowers. I think this is so pretty. And then I got the Alice in pink. Hold on. So that's what that looks like. And then... You could, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can see the cap behind her. I mean, the detail in this fabric is pretty amazing. I do have to say, it really, really is. This one is cute. You can see the Mad Hatter's hat in that one. Um, I haven't really opened this one up much. Nope, it's just all the same as what you're seeing here. Just in case you were curious. Oh, how about the cats? <laughs> Aren't those cute? The little cat heads there. And then I got the teacups in pink. So I have them in that light blue and then in that pink. What's nice about the thread that I picked out is that it goes with all of my fabrics. So I can't wait to make some stuff with this. It's going to be great. I got this in the lighter color as well. So I have it in this kind of purple and then in the pink. I was really trying to keep the colors so that I could get them to kind of mix together, but have them be a little bit different so that they would offset each other. So, and I have not decided what pattern to do with this. I have not decided if I'm going to make bags with them. I have not decided if I will make bags and sell them. I have not decided any of that yet. So I just saw this fabric. I fell in love with it and I said, it is going home with me. And so that's what we've done. And this beautiful pink here. And I have it in a blue. Isn't that cute? And then um, 
because I spent so much time <laughs> trying to decide which cabinet I was going to get. They gave me a cute little project tote. So I have that. And unfortunately, I couldn't purchase that cabinet because like I said, it is way too small for my sewing machine. So there's that. That's a problem. Um, I wanted to let you know that I have added some new affiliate links to my links down below in the description box. Um, I am now an affiliate with Connecting Threads, also Fat Quarter Shop, and Sewing Machines Plus. So if you are interested in any of my the sewing machines that I have, including my serger machine, my cover stitch, my dream machine, or my Janome 9400, you can purchase there. If you do make purchases through my um, affiliate links, I do make a very small commission and all of that money comes back into this channel so that I can buy fabric and bring you all of this cool stuff to do, nice projects and whatnot. If you'd like to buy or purchase the fabric, the new Tula Pink, that quarter shop does have it. Um, I have heard that Connecting Threads has extremely fast shipping because one of my um, Patreon supporters made a purchase through my link and she received her um, order within three days. So that's very fast shipping. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also still doing the AccuQuilt and whatnot. So, and if you would like to have access to my free patterns, um, uh, become a Patreon member. Um, it's down below in the description box as well. Head on over there, take a look at what you get and see if that's right for you. And that is it for me today. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm see my videos. If you would like to share, that's great because sharing is caring and I'm always grateful for that. Also, don't forget to click that little bell. You will get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.